I'm Dr. Meyer Small, Dr. Small for short. Today we made mac and cheese. I was cooking mac and cheese. So today we actually made homemade mac and cheese with Dr. Uh, Leslie Myers, who's the superintendent of Rochester City School District. Is there anybody who is lactose intolerant or can't have mac and cheese? Um, an average weight, I really don't cook at home. I have made mac and cheese plenty of times, but this is the creamiest mac and cheese that I have made. So I am really anticipating making this for my family. The first thing really what we need to do, you gotta wash your hands. You know, cooking I think is a little bit of a lost art. We have Uber now and you can go out and eat. And I really think it is important to know how to cook for oneself. Um, this was a little bit on the extravagant side, but to make uh, good foods that certainly are healthy, but that also are really uh, comforting to your soul. And that's what macaroni and cheese is to me. Your pot or pan up about three quarters. If you want to salt your water just a little bit. Uh, we had to use eggs, uh, great value noodles, you know, any type of noodles, but you know. Uh, salt and pepper, preferred spices to use for it. Uh, half and half milk, I believe. We use butter too, and a lot of cheese. One by one, when you get a chance, come by and you're gonna measure out half a cup of Monterey, Sharp, Mild, and, and I mean Colby and Monterey, and just go through. Keep going. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Great. You don't just want to make sure you stir because you want the water to come. You want your macaroni slightly underdone. Why do you think you might want your macaroni? Slightly, uh, not always. Because what? Because you put it in the oven. It goes a little bit longer, right? So you don't want your macaroni just going, you know. You want to put your calendar in the sink? There's a lot of different ways to make mac and cheese. Oh, you seasoned up your egg. Awesome. Um, people have different ways of making different foods that you're not accustomed and the different ways can always make you think of, of a different output. And you know what, I should have said this too, it's okay if you had a little bit of water in there, sometimes you want just a little bit. So now what you want to do, once you have your butter melted, start mixing that ooey gooey cheese in there. of cream, pour that over, make sure it's good and mixed in there, and then you want to take your, taste it one more time, and then you add your egg. You know, I, I learned a, a few things. Certainly, um, they do take direction incredibly well, and they were very eager uh, to participate, but I also love the creativity and the innovation that they brought to it. So. You know, the way that they, some of them put um, the seasonings in the egg. I have never done that before. So I was like, okay, that's something that you can absolutely do. And I think just, um, even though this was a cooking lesson, there still was learning occurring. And so very much so it was reinforced to me their incredible love for learning. Favorite part of the day was putting the cheese on top and layering it on top. That was like, made me feel like a chef, you feel me? What I was thinking when I found out I was cooking was I was happy because I like macaroni and cheese. That's my favorite Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, plate dish. It was very cheesy, very, it, it looks really good.
The difficulties that I faced is when I was adding in the milk and then my my pan, um, it started overflowing, so we had to move into a different pan, so it went. That's cheese with a little bit of macaroni. Sir, just how you doing on Thanksgiving? <laughs> wow. So you got the Velveeta on top. That's what's up. Uh, this one of like probably the best things that ever came to my life. Like I'm probably like the oldest person I've been here, the longest person I've been in the program, and it's a great opportunity for everybody to come in. Like I just got a couple of my cousins joined into the program, and they're working on it. And I'm telling them it's a great experience for everybody that comes into the program. Our Future Ready program is an after-school program that serves uh, students in Monroe County. We help out with academic support as well as enrichments and job readiness training, making sure that they're equipped with everything so when they're done, they are on track to either go to college or go into a career, but they have those skills and the knowledge to be able to do that successfully. Three, two, one.